and now I'm going to use my second favorite kind of orgasm. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Teresa. In today's video, you're gonna get to know me a little bit better. So you're going to watch me do my makeup routine while I tell a couple of stories so you can get to know me and I talk about what I do with my free time and some of the hobbies I enjoy. So if you want to get to know more about me, then stay tuned. So I just took a shower off camera. So first I'm gonna brush my hair and I'm gonna do my skin routine. And then I'm also going to do my makeup for you, okay? okay so I use Clinique. Here's the number three. They told me when I did the test that I could do number two or three, but this one would be better for breakouts. So. Um, that's the exfoliator I'm just gonna use. I already washed my face in the shower. All right, and I just want that all to get off my face. So I'm gonna brush my hair right now before I put on my moisturizer. See this awkward little colic I have right here? It's the bane of my existence. Okay, so for moisturizer, I use this Clinique ID. I use the lotion, but I have kind of dry skin. And I use the hydrating insert. And then I'm just gonna put on some Vaseline on my lips because they're drier than the Sahara Desert. Do you like my list that I have when I have my Invisalign in? Isn't it fifty? All right, so I'm just gonna start with two pumps of my Urban Decay Optical Illusion. Hello. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my eyebrows, actually, because I have a lot of little baby hairs I need to get my eyebrows done so I want to have them covered up real good so welcome back to my channel first I'm going to spoolie my eyebrow hairs up you know the only light that I have right now is from my ring light so this is going to be an interesting day of makeup unless I you just want me to get all up in your grill on the camera one minute I thought this mirror was going to be dirtier than it actually is. It's still not clean, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. My mom got me this mirror a few years ago, and she was going to get me a nicer one. But she came into Ulta while I was at work to try and buy it for me, and I saw her. So then she was like, I'm not going to buy it for you, and she ended up buying me this one instead. And it's not as nice, so I kind of beat myself up for that one. But also... Why would you go into your child's place of work to buy them a Christmas present while they're at work? Doesn't make sense to me, but you know. And like, it was just a makeup mirror. She didn't have to come into Ulta. She could have gone literally anywhere. She could have gone into like Kohl's or something. I think she told me the one she ended up getting me was from like JCPenney, but whatever. I'm still appreciative that she even got me a gift because I know some people can't afford to do that. And I appreciate the fact that my mom knew what I wanted. Look how good that eyebrow looks. Oh. I watch a lot of like educational videos on YouTube, especially about like timing and scheduling. Since I have ADHD, those are like things that I'm not good at. So like to try and get more advice, I'll watch videos about it on YouTube. And in a bunch of them, they were talking about time blocking, saying, you know, even like all of the really rich people are like, this is how they allocate their time and can live such a busy life is because they schedule their days out ahead of time. And sometimes I like to do that, but sometimes I don't like to do that. It just depends on what I have to do that day. I try to schedule like all of my things to do in one day, which is how I was able to film this video is because today, obviously I'm doing my makeup so that I can go into town. And then when I get back, I'm going to film some content. Sometimes I'll just lay in bed and do my homework and maybe read a book maybe watch some shows or like YouTube videos. Like I said, a lot of my time spent working is just trying to figure out new information for like marketing strategies and saving money, things of that nature. I know a lot of people think that I like that girls with OnlyFans don't think about those things, but we have to because that's how you survive. Welcome to life. This is how it works. I didn't just buy a house because I'm stupid with my money. I'm not even one of the top creators on OnlyFans. The highest I've gotten up there was top 1.3% of creators, which obviously isn't bad. It's plenty to make a living off of salary-wise. Plus I had all the free time 
to like go on trips and hang out with my friends. That's one thing I like about OnlyFans is you're just your own boss, so you can do whatever. That's why I'm trying to get more into other social media spaces is because I like what I do and I would like to do more of it, you know? Look at them brows, though. I did my eyebrows so well, I don't want to mess them up while I'm outlining them. Isn't that crazy? Like, this is the part that should be easy. But no, it's me back to make things more difficult than they need to be. Oh my god, that made me think of- okay, so I'm a Pisces, right? Am I just gonna say that in every single one of my videos? I'm a Pisces. Well, when my friend sent me a TikTok that was like all of the mental illnesses of the cast of new girls and it said just pisces so that just made me think of that because i was singing my feelings i was just watching new girl actually not last night but the night before that i guess i should probably tell y'all what products i'm using okay so eyebrows anastasia dip brow pomade in chocolate so i usually use tarte's shape tape but i ran out of it and i had this that i had bought because it was cheap one time. So I just was trying to use it up. I'm not like really putting it under my eyes or anything if I'm just lining my eyes, my eyebrows with it. Um, I might do, I'll touch up with it, but it's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. Not my favorite, but gets the job done, right? And then I have the Morphe sponge and I have this Morphe brush that came in a pack. And I have this Jeffree Star eyebrow dual ended brush. Okay, so next, foundation. I have the Born This Way by Too Faced foundation in Swan because as you can tell, I'm white as a swan. I like to just start with a little bit and add more as I go. It's a very good buildable foundation. I just wish it stayed a little better. All right, so things I do as a full-time OnlyFans girl. Well, I'm in school right now, but I'm just taking online classes, so I just have to log in. And it's not one of those ones where you have to be there at the time of the class. It's just like a normal online class, so I can do it at my own pace. Um, I've been procrastinating this week. I usually try to get it done, you know, on like Monday or Tuesday when it's not the weekend anymore but also I'm not fully ready to be like getting up and getting ready. I usually like to shoot content later in the week because I feel like I have my life together at the end of the week. And I'm just gonna touch up these eyebrows real quick. Look at those eyebrows, iconic, right? I do feel kind of bad that like this lighting isn't fantastic, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Here's how I actually do it. I'll take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I actually don't know what shade this is in anymore. If you look at it, you cannot see the back of it anymore. And I like to use this big fluffy Morphe brush. I got this in a pack too, but I like to use this because it doesn't like put too much bronzer on my face because I'm really pale, obviously. So I don't want it to not match my body or anything or to just like be too dark, you know? And I like to start like where I'm going to put my contour just because that makes it feel like if I accidentally do get a little too much on there I'm already gonna be blending it and covering it up and I'm gonna need more there anyway so see already what a big difference that makes in the color same thing on the other side all right and then I will take this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit palette and I'm gonna take this cool toned brown in this angled brush and this is what I'm going to do. Tap off the excess. All right, I swear to God, this is the brush that I can never find, okay? And I love this brush. Oh. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. I love this brush, it came in a set from Morphe. I don't know, some of the stuff that's in sets I can't find in like the individuals, which kind of stinks. I'm gonna go in on my nose and contour. And then I'm going to take this brush. It's from Sephora. I'm gonna go into the same cool toned brown. And then I'm going to just give an extra. Then I'm gonna blend down my neck again, just in case. And I'm gonna put a little contour on my boobies. Mm. Scandalous. 
blend it out. Oof, marvelous. Oh yeah, hello, tatos. Oh yeah. And now I'm going to use my second favorite kind of orgasm, NARS. I like this one because it's kind of natural. It's a peach pink. I'm so sorry. All of my makeup looks so like worn out for this video and I'm sorry about that. And you know that I'm bisexual, so I have to put way too much blush on my face. And I have this really, really, really old Mary Kay brush that my sister-in-law got me, like, when I first started doing makeup. This is getting close to, like, 10 years old. And it's not the best quality, but it's the only one that I could find in this shape. And I really like this shape. Sorry. It's my face, not yours. Since we're gonna be wearing this all day, I'm gonna put on some... Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, original. I'm thinking today I'm gonna do like a natural brown and gold look. I usually go for more of a pink, but with this dusty pink, I'm not wearing any black, so. Since I'm not gonna use more concealer, I'm just gonna go up under my eyes again. With this, I know most people say that you're not supposed to do that, but this is how I do it and it works for me. And then you just blend it out with some blush again. Blush fixes everything. Oh, all right. So the look I'm gonna do today is with the Naked Reloaded palette. I actually won this while I was working at Ulta because it was like whoever could sell 25 Urban Decay products, I think it was. They were put into a drawing to win this, but there ended up being a blizzard that day. So I was the only one who sold 25 products. So I'm the only one who got one. I was the only one in the drawing and I won. That was when my general manager told me that I could sell ice to an Eskimo. First, I wanna gather up all of my eyeshadow brushes because this is an issue that I always have is I can't find them and I need them. And I have a bunch of them, so. All right, so now I have all of my eyeshadow brushes. This one is from e.l.f. This one, obviously, Jeffree Star. This one, I also believe, is from e.l.f. This one's from Morphe, also Jeffree Star. But it's the Jeffree X Morphe, so. It's still technically a Morphe brush, all right? So I'm gonna take this big fluffy one and I'm going to, all right, let's say first I tap into this color blur. I'm just gonna tap, 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 ta-da! I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Tap, 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 tap. And pray to God they look even because I can't see. All right, then I wanna darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna take this smaller brush and I'm gonna dip into Bucked right here. I know I probably should have washed my brushes before this too, but I didn't. This was kind of a spur of the moment idea. I'm getting more of a neutral look, right? I'm using this color and this color. So should I use this gold or should I use this? It's barely baked or angel fire with my pink outfit. I think I'm gonna go with the gold. And I know most people tell you not to use your fingers for this, but I found that it makes the glitter like pop more if you use your finger. Finger. If you use your finger, then I might go over the, this with this one more time just to blend it out in the center. Then I'm going to take this little Morphe brush to do the corners and my under eyes in this dark brown called End Game. That was all on it. So I ended up not using a couple of my brushes and that's totally fine. I don't always use all of them. I just like to go with the flow, you know, whatever I'm really feeling. Now I'm gonna put on a little highlight. I'm using this Milani in strobe light. I got it as a sample. I used to be a snob about makeup, you know, like I would only use, you know, Too Faced, Urban Decay, Clinique, whatever. But Milani is definitely one of those drugstore brands that I do really like. All right, I'm just gonna touch up my eyebrows real quick and back to Urban Decay All Nighter, hello. All right, so this is Clinique. I don't know what it's called because it wore off, but it is their felt tip liner. I love felt tip liners. And I was not expecting to like Clinique's felt tip liner, but my mom got it in one of their free samples and she doesn't wear eyeliner. So she gave it to me instead and I used it and I ended up loving it. So now I buy the full size. I'm just gonna line like my underwater line right there. I just think that this helps me look more natural when I put on my fake lashes. I just got, ugh. oh my God, I look like a demon now because I have eyeliner in my eyeball. Right, and I'm going to use these lashes which are all torn up. 
They're the House of Lashes. Iconic lashes. I also really like the Iconic Whites, but I slept in them on New Year's, so I had to throw them away. Then you wait for your lashes to get tacky. And then once it's tacky, then I'm just gonna clamp it. And then I try to be very careful about my corners. My eyes are getting watery again, which is not a good thing when you're trying to put on fake eyelashes. It also doesn't help that it's getting to be allergy season around here. I just started noticing the past couple days my eye or my nose has been getting stuffy. All right, I'm just gonna put a little more glue in the corner there just to help it stay. This is actually really annoying that my eyes are watering so much though. I'm gonna cover up all those smudges with some sparkles because sparkles makes everything better, right? This is by L'Oreal. I don't remember what the name of it is, but it is in the color I create. Um, I actually bought this while I was working at Ulta because I saw it in a Tati Westbrook video where she said it was kind of like the YSL. It's like a mixture between a lip stain and like a lipstick. So I actually really like this, it's super light. And I like this color because it's very natural. So most of the time people can't even tell that I have something on. You know what I did forget to do? I tried to put some more glue on my lashes. I messed up or made my eyes water a little bit more. So we're gonna see how this works out, okay? This is the NARS Climax. Again, NARS always coming in at number two. And there we go. I know they tell you not to put mascara on your fake eyelashes, but I do it anyway because it helps me blend it and I think it looks better. So this is how the final look turned out. Thank you for tuning into today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that like button and subscribe so that you are notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.